Howdy y'all. Here with another vlog today. We're doing a little different today. We got... It's my mother. Hello! She's here in town today. On spring break. Yeah, she's got some fly glasses. Nice glasses. Nice glasses. And we're gonna just talk, chat, <clears throat> about what grad school is like for me, because very conveniently, she saw all this week what grad school yeah. was like for me. Yeah, that's fun. I saw your building today. Well, tell me exactly what you're studying, Michael. <laughs> oh, it's called space systems engineering. Space systems. They call it space mean? engineering. So what would you tell someone coming to the school if they ask, what are the things that come to your mind um, that you're like, this is what I really love about this? I mean, so first thing, address the whole um, academic part of it, but then... That's well, not that's not all of it, you know. Academics are like more not. Like, like the the single most impressive thing to me and the thing that I like think every day that's like wow I'm here and I get to do this is the people I oh is sorry, I think the camera's drifting too. <laughs> I'm but so mom's sorry. Here. She won't do it. <laughs> I'm just regressing to this child like I need to look at my like mother. Mommy. Look at your mother when you yeah. talk to her. <laughs> You're grown up now. Look at you. I know. <laughs> It's been four years <laughs> since I've been an adult and I still just progress. Um, but I, academics, bar none. Like, one of my professors is a former secretary of the Navy, former CEO of uh, one of the like major aerospace companies. Wow. Um, so lots another, of connections, lots of expertise. Yeah, another one is... Um, we walked by his office the other day. It was another one is former associate administrator of NASA. So he was in charge of Hubble. I think either when it was being constructed or just before it launched. Um, I think he left in the Bush administration, Bush 2 in, in W. So, Mike, how did you find this fit? I mean, how would you tell someone to figure out whether like a particular program is a good fit? Because I think if you're finishing up your undergraduate and you're going to commit to graduate school, you want to make sure that it's a darn good fit for you because it's, it's like a huge step. So it's yeah. a big commitment. I think there were a couple of things that made sense. A, we've already talked about how I love spreadsheets. So there may or may not have been a couple spreadsheets involved. I'm not sure if you ever saw my spreadsheets, but I have spreadsheets. I don't think so. I if actually I... dislike them immensely, but... <laughs> An she's okay. she's an artist. Yeah. Spreadsheet. Give me a Person. canvas. Actually, a piece of watercolor paper, and that's where I. Person. That's where I live. And paint your emotions and, out. Yes, that's right. Yeah, but I I would advocate spreadsheets. I paint happy places. You paint happy little trees. <laughs> well, not exactly. Yeah, yeah, my hair is not quite that crazy. So is this for your department, or just for the graduate school in general? Graduate, graduate school in general, department two. Okay. Because. Okay. So did you Google? I mean, do you do the, would you start with like a Google search? Would you talk to your professors in undergrad? I mean, how well, might you? Let me give you the rundown. You do it. I had a couple criteria for each grad school that I knew I like my, you could consider them like deal breakers. I know you hear that a lot in dating. And mm -hmm. when you're doing grad school, it's almost like you're going through a dating. Do you write school. it down? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you put it on your sheet. phone or on a sheet of paper? My spreadsheet? So I, would, I, used, no, I put it on Excel. Okay, so I would write it down, kind of old school. But I think that's good advice, to write it down, exactly what you want, and then check off which schools meet that, which ones yeah. are mm -hmm. maybe not so strong in that. Yeah, and that's eventually what I did. But for to get my deal breakers, that's when I talked to professors. I remember I got accepted on my birthday. Oh, did you? I did, yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah, my birthday's on Valentine's Day, so sweet? He was I got born at 12.09 a.m. on a Saturday. Can I say this? Hey, you want to call me Freddy? Uh, well, he would have been born <laughs> if he... I labored all day long. If he'd been born on Friday, he would have been born on Friday the 13th. So I asked a lot of my professors in undergrad, what are the kind of things I should be looking for in graduate school? Oh, good idea. So, That's I did... Well, oh, that, they also first asked me, like, you know, what do I want to do with my life? And I was like, oh, I didn't want to do space stuff. That was cool because my, I worked with the uh, Wisconsin <clears throat> Space Grant. That's good. So that was nice. So tell me which classes you take. So your program, three semesters with the summer in between, yeah. perhaps. Uh, can be done in two semesters. Okay. 
That one's a little more intense. Yeah. But so there's a summer in between, but you get your master's degree in three semesters. Yes. Let me say something about that. I have my master's degree. Mm -hmm. hers, a, hers is in communication, so she's much more eloquent than I am. Oh, yeah. It was maybe a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> After my, oh my gosh, it was decades. But anyway, I had an undergrad professor who said to me, one of the things that you should look for is a program that doesn't keep you for three years, mm -hmm. doesn't string you along. You know, they're doing research and you just become, you know, this underling that just does all the work for them. And I mean, eventually you get your degree, but they won't let you graduate in less than like three years. So he said, mm -hmm. don't go to those, find something. What I like about your program is you have people who are crazy publishing and you're not expected, so that may, that may be a change in the whole uh, university system over the years, but I think that that's good too, because if you had decided to go like to work right out of the chute, uh, three semesters, you can do. You might have to do one or two classes, um, you know, if you're trying to do it part-time, but it's doable, you yeah. know, instead of feeling like this is gonna take me another six years kind of a thing, so. Yeah, it's not bad at all, I like it. All my hand has probably been drifting. So I'm sorry, so tell me, because I don't know exactly, the classes did you take last semester? Ooh, last semester I took space policy and management. So that was taught by the guy who was the former associate administrator. Cool. What's that? So that was super cool. Okay, um, and then the other one, what was the other one? I took, it's called 582, and that is space systems. So I learned how to design a satellite. So physical, like different kinds of rockets yeah, so and like spacecraft, things that go through the air with the How to build the them. Not so much rockets, more spacecraft. Okay. So like we learned how to build like kind of materials you should use, sizing, oh, I sizing solar panels, okay. sizing batteries, stuff like that. And um, the whys of all of that, materials and... Yeah. Um, that was the one with the 100 hour exam. That was okay. a fun one. I think you should tell them about the 100 hour exam. Just it's one of those things where you're, when you're in a moment of pressure, it becomes very clear to you what you do and don't understand. And <laughs> it, wasn't, oh, yeah, it, does. it wasn't any sort of like existential pressure. I'm like, I know I see it, you say 100 hour exam. It was more like 125. <laughs> 100 hour exam just sounds cooler. <laughs> Um, and I, I, if you portioned it out, it was, you work like eight hours a day, it's not bad. And so now this semester, what are you taking? Well, there's more after that. Oh, I'm sorry. There was also, um, there's another class I took 478 that was all about the space environment. Uh, and that was super cool because it was taught by a heliophysicist. So we learned a lot about, or like a researching heliophysicist, so we learned a lot about the atmosphere of Earth. We learned about the Sun-Earth connection, which is super cool. Interesting. Um, we learned about radiation, which is frightening. <laughs> yeah, um, like no one knows that. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, yeah. I learned it. Fun fact. What? You know, guess, guess what, you know, like there are classifications of workers in the government's eyes? Guess, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> guess, uh, guess what astronauts are classified as? Because, you know, there's like, like chemical workers, yeah. stuff like that. Radiation workers? They are radiation oh, workers. Oh, yeah, well, of course. So they have yeah. a lifetime radiation limit. Oh. So that's why after a certain time, astronauts just go to train. Because they become where they go go to Capcom or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Because they can't be in space anymore. They go to the buoyancy lab. And yeah. yeah, we just watched, people. we've been watching Jeff Goldblum's, or The World According to Jeff Goldblum. We watched Pools, and, and that was in there. Yeah, he went to the neutral buoyancy lab in Houston. That was cool. Which I had seen. Um, yeah. You probably saw it when you were teeny, teeny, tiny. We used to go down there all the time. Okay, so your third class. Third class. Space systems. That okay. was space. That's third class was uh, space environment. Okay. Well, that that's was, right. That one was really cool. Okay. That was a lot of math, but it was really fun. Um, and then this semester, I am taking one on atmospheres and planetary science. That's cool. It's with one of the like a mission scientists from like Galileo, Juno. How fun! Because you played, you did a lot with your planetarium when you. I did. I worked in a planetarium in college, so that was pretty nice. fun. Okay, and then the other one? Um, spacecraft instrumentation. So we're building a weather balloon. Gauges and so forth. Yeah, but it's like a little microcosm of the engineering process. And then... And you told me now, you're going to launch these, right? Where? That's a great question. Somewhere um, around here. Depends on the weather. 
because we don't want them going into Lake Erie and having the Coast Guard be mad at us. So then uh, this summer, maybe an internship, we're yeah. not quite, you haven't solidified that. And then what are your classes next semester? Well, or have one, you settled? One more class this semester. Sorry, Michael. You keep jumping ahead. It's the, it's, it's, it's 582 part two, electric Google is 583. Okay. And part, part two, electric Google is just a meme. It's a list. Like, uh, when you say somebody a sequel to something. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so it's 582, part two, electric boogaloo. And that is the management side. Oh, okay. So I've let my inner spreadsheet jockey. Well, nice. Free. So you're, now you're moving in that, more into the management kind of stuff, which is what I think you're hoping to. Yeah. So, your... what else have you got? Well, then, do you know, um, in the fall, what your classes will be? Vaguely. I have, it, I have it in a spreadsheet. Oh, so <laughs> and then, I mean, you'll be finished in December. So you you started in August or September? September. September, September 3rd. And you'll be finished in January, so it's like a year and a half. You finished December. Oh, December, that's right. Yeah. That's, so nice. that's really nice. It is. You gotta be excited. Although, it seems to me, that's pretty quick, you know, like to go from kind of building, yeah. you know, where you're going, your path in life, so. I will say it is the highest density of learning I've ever had in my life. Is it? Yeah. But oh, you love yeah. it. And see, that was the thing about graduate school for me. Um, <clears throat> not to put down undergraduate, but you take all of these general things so that you can sort of hone in on what you're interested in. And you have to be with all kinds of people, you know, some who are interested in the same thing you are, some who curl their hair, you know, I mean, it's, but when you get to grad school, it's like everything that you love, everything so you're interested in. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I told you before, you're going to love grad school. Or so there's probably some fun things to do here. Oh, I know. When you come here, um, you said that in your particular department, uh, with your cohort, they had like meet and greet things kind of, right? So they that you did. got to know. My department has some yeah. bar nights. Um, our, we have a graduate student association. <laughs> So that's fun. They well, and you're an RA, so you you once a month you try to touch base with your residents. How many programs do you have? Did you say in a month? Eight? I have to do two programs a month, but there are twelve of us. Oh, so, so there's plenty of so many programs. Yeah, and you just took your you went to the Motown Museum, right? In yeah, Detroit. That's, so cool. that's pretty fun. I'll put a picture in here. I went. I there's this piano was played by a bunch of different people, like oh, Smokey Robinson, uh, and a bunch of people. I'll put a list. Yes. Okay. I, since I'm on the spot, I'm not remembering. So is there anything you think in Ann Arbor that's lacking? Or in your program you kind of wish, oh, I wish they did this? Or are you pretty content? I'm pretty content. The only thing I wish, and this isn't a fault of the city, this is my fault, because my car was older than I was. Oh. But I wish I had a bit of a car, but even then I can get around with the buses. Yeah. So. And lift, if worse comes to worse. Yeah. It's a nice city. It is. I mean, it's a good size. I don't, how many, how many students? What's the population? Tens of thousands. Well, very peaceful. The one thing that I noticed in the um, <clears throat> here in these graduate student residences is always quiet. There's no trouble at ever. All, ever. Um, lots of wildlife that runs around. And, I mean, it just seems like everything plugs along pretty efficiently, mm -hmm. and um, that's really nice. Well, this is fun. It was very interesting for me too because yeah. I didn't. Uh -huh. I vibe, Michael. Yeah. Good job. Cool. Any other parting thoughts? Well, no, we've just had a great time this week. Um, we went, gosh, we probably could have spent another week looking at museums and all the things that there were to do. But we also went to uh, a natural history museum. Was, oh, was that was super cool. Also, I didn't know. So, anthropology lesson. I think it's anthropology. People. People. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. So, Bigel. one of our, one of the earliest human ancestors is this skeleton named Lucy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like this little hominid. She's a little, little disjointed there, but yeah, this little ape. There's enough of her. Yeah, <laughs> there's <laughs> pretty, enough of her to know. <laughs> pretty scant. Like, will you put the photo in? I took my hand in the I dinosaur will. mouth, please. I will. Yeah. <laughs> she put her hand in a dinosaur <laughs> mouth. This will just like go he right. Was my... <laughs> this will go in here. But um, yeah, and they had Lucy, which is super cool. It's the earliest hominid ancestor that we found. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. Nice school. Nice town. Great food. Oh, the food. 
Just I kidding. mean, how many pizza places have we been to, like, between when we visited you this summer? That's a great question. And this time, I mean, the, well, we went the to, pizza is, I mean, we had some other food, but the pizza has been We went like to Neil like, Palace. Yes. Which is, like, brick oven fired. Mm -hmm. Yes. We went to NYPD, which is New York style. And then we also went to Snap, which is new. That was not open when you were here. Very safe. And we, for, for a parent, those things are important. We also got my niece this little Michigan hoodie. Because I'm in a battle with my brother-in-law. We live in Wisconsin, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and so. he's a Badgers fan. So, so they a, have in the store, M Den. M Den, called, yeah. They have little pins that say Beat Wisconsin. So, so Michael put it on the little jacket, the little is, hoodie. So when... Uh, this is you know, Michigan. Uncle sees. Michigan Strikes Back. Yeah, yeah, he's a big fan, but he's definitely a Wisconsin Packer Brewers kind of guy. So yeah. I'm not particularly interested in sports. I'm just particularly interested in this pearl I have a seat. <laughs> well, that's my siblings are. <laughs> well, I think we'll call it here. That's good. All right. Take Double care. Five. Take care. Have fun. Yep. Bye, Bye, Mom. Bye. Have fun in Wisconsin. Thanks. You too. Have fun here. Bye.